In Samplitude you can use effects not only at the track level, but also at the object level. Track effects are typically added from the mixer, the track insert slot, or the track editor. But you can also add effects to individual clips using the Samplitude object editor. In Samplitude Speak, any piece of audio that exists on the timeline is called an audio object. This would be the equivalent of an audio clip, item, region or event as in other doors. To open the object editor, select an audio object and double click or press Ctrl plus O or just click on the tab. In Samplitude Pro X, the object editor is now docked by default. To undock it, double click on the object editor tab, double click again to redock, or left click and drag the tab upwards and release the mouse. You can also drag the object editor back down to the dock. When the green horizontal line appears, release the mouse. All audio objects inherently have their own object editor. You can have one object editor for one complete length of audio, or you can chop that longer piece of audio into shorter objects and add effects to those individual objects. You can then enjoy real-time FX processing using discrete object editors. No rendering is required. So in essence, every audio object has what you might describe as its own dedicated channel strip. The default object editor view from left to right includes a gain control, four auxiliary sends, five plugin slots, an EQ section, right click to open the EQ GUI, pan stereo controls, right click to open extended pan settings, plus a volume fader. There is also a section for managing object automation. Next to that is an area for renaming objects or adding comments at the bottom, saving and recalling snapshots, applying changes to other objects and bypassing effects. Audio objects can also be frozen. Freezing an object will render all object editor effects, therefore replacing the existing object with the rendered version. This can be undone at any time. Right clicking in a free space below the stereo control opens a context menu. This menu lets you switch between different skins, including Object Editor Max. Here you can view all parameters in one single window, including fade in, fade out, file browsing, objects and wave nudging, plus pitch shift time stretching. You can also open the selected file in Elastic Audio. If you prefer to use the default non-max view, you can tab between the three sections using the large buttons on the left. 